Okay. You need a watch on. This is a watch channel. Watch on. You know, my, my SKX007 has seen many iterations this year. It actually started out as a prototype for my SKX Atlantis mod, and then it just turned into a sort of standard looking SKX with an aftermarket dial. Then it started to take a turn. The second hand fell off. I guess I, when I pulled them off the Heimdaller that they came from, I must have screwed up the second hand or I just, I don't know. I assumed that it was my blunder, but I needed to replace the second hand. And at the time I justified I, the red tip on the second hand did look quite nice, but I'll be honest, I, I, it didn't look quite right to me. I, I wanted the SKX style hands on it, the complete set, not just, you know, some off-handed second hand thrown on there just to complete it. And then, of course, the bracelet had an issue with the Jubilee bracelet, had to replace that. And then, before I knew it, I did the, the dial and hand swap, and it did look really cool with the samurai dial on there and those... Um, I, I know those hands are from a specific Seiko, I just can't remember which one. Then, the SKX pretty much got used to finish off my... 62 mass mm300 hybrid where i needed the black calendar disc the, the the you know the numbers for that build and so i took the movement out and put it on there and then did the big swap so then what i was left with was a sort of gray 62 mass in the skx 007 case but that was that was never meant to be it was never meant to be that so i took the internals of that out and swapped them into an aftermarket spb 185 case but that left the skx 007 case empty I kept toying with the idea of just reverting it back to the SKX007 style build that I did earlier on in the year. And so that's what this is. This is just an SKX007 build, this time with a black sunburst dial. I did. I decided to go for the black dial instead. I wanted that uniformity. But this time, just a bit more loom. We're gonna use a nice loomed chapter ring and a nice loomed bezel insert. And I would love to say a nice loomed calendar disc set, but Although this NH36 was advertised as having a loomed calendar disc set on it and the pictures on the AliExpress listing showed it to look good, when I actually got it, the loom was just pitiful at best. If we look at the bezel, um, the, the bezel insert, as a benchmark for what 100% of loom would be, the calendar discs are like 5% of that. Yeah, you can see them in the dark, which I guess is cool, but they certainly don't light up the same way that the calendar discs that I bought from Dialmaker do, so there's a reason it's only 50 quid for the pair, and that's because the loom is pitiful. However, credit where it is due, it's not some cheap painted over calendar disc like with the previous NH36 I bought that had a black calendar disc set on it. It is a nice printed disc, you know, nice and clean looking, so it, it looks nice, it just doesn't have that loom that was advertised but but i digress I've, I've waffled on enough about this here's today's video i'm gonna build the skx style mod sort of the hobbyist mod where it's aftermarket parts there's no oem parts in this build it's just aftermarket stuff and instead of doing it with commentary where i say everything i'm doing and instead of throwing music over it this is going to be like those res restoration videos or build videos you see where all you hear are the sounds of what's happening and i've cut it together as sort of an asmr build thing so that you can just hear the sounds of the build process and watch as this bunch of parts that i've got turns back into an skx 007 so enough waffling let's get this underway
So there you go. There's there's my SKX007 right at the end there. I just couldn't keep that piece of crystal on there with the slope on it. So that's why we've got the new crystal in there. Still got a little bit of a slope on this new one, but it's not nearly as bad as the first one. So that's an improvement. In terms of the, the little gold piece that I stuck on the back of the NH36, uh, I just think they're really cool. You just use dial dots to stick it on the back and then it's got the cool etching on it and it's only like 10 quid it's, it's way cheaper than buying a new rotor and i did toy with the idea of getting some sort of a laser etching thing and trying to etch that myself or even plating it gold with uh you know where you uh make it so that it's conductive and then dip it in this solution and then it plates it but i think that's a bit beyond my scope for the time being so just gonna stick on this cool thing and you know i've got these on some of my other watches as well uh, yeah i mean it's just a cool little thing to just make the the back of the watch look interesting and in terms of this build i I, I must admit, originally, I was never a fan of the SKX 007's style. I always thought the, the styling of the hands and the, the, the big bulbous indices, you know, especially the 12 o'clock and the, the 9 o'clock, the sort of oval things with the lines sticking out, it wasn't for me. And yet, in recent times, I've, I've learned that my tastes for watches have changed. I was certainly not interested in a Casio G-Shock with a big metal case on it, and yet I've got one of those as well. So. Anyway, let me know if you enjoyed the just listening to the sounds of the build instead of me commentating over everything and telling you what I'm doing, because I might do it again in the future. I actually really liked how this one turned out, and I think I'm going to enjoy this build. I think I'm going to wear it frequently. Uh, I do love the sort of SKX 007 or 009 aspect with the Jubilee bracelet on it. I think that's a nice pairing. I'm also really liking the uniformity of the just all black. The blue sunburst in the previous iteration was nice, but I'm really liking this one and it looks nice with the loomed ceramic bezel insert and that nice loomed Namaki Mods chapter ring. They sent that over to me when I did the MM300 build several months ago. So thanks again, Namaki Mods. One thing I will say about these aftermarket parts as well, the dial and the hands, very nice and bright loomed. Yes, they appear sort of yellow and green all the time. They don't have that nice white look, um, sort of the cleaner look, but at least they all match. You know, the hands and the dial, they, they fit together perfectly and they're really bright. The loom is superb. So a bit gutted about the calendar discs not matching that, but still pretty nice for in terms of loom this build and I just think it's a really smart looking little watch so I'm happy with this one for the time being unless I change it again in the future we're coming up to the end of the year as well so if you don't see any more videos from me uh, this month I just want to thank every single one of you for watching my videos seriously god bless all of you this channel has grown i don't really advertise this channel very much and yet we've got to over 1200 subscribers this year which to me at least is pretty cool you know shows that my my watch videos are entertaining some of you so thank you all for that i really do appreciate your viewership and thanks to all the people that clicked my affiliate links for the namaki mod stuff uh, i can't thank you enough for actually you know, going through those affiliate links and buying stuff. I haven't actually gotten anything from it yet, but because you have to reach a certain amount before you get anything. But I just, when I see the, the referral sales go through, I just think, you know, that's somebody else that has decided to click my link and just support the channel. So thank you. I really do appreciate it. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Merry Christmas to every last one of you. Happy New Year if you don't see me again this year. And thanks for watching, seriously. Have a good one.